everybody, it's your girl Imani P from the DMV. You already know where I'm at, you already know where I'll be. And welcome to my channel, Imani Versus, where I talk about music, culture, and more. Today, we're gonna be talking about an album that just dropped like about a week. About a week ago. Uh, an album that just dropped about a week or two ago, The Off Season by J. Cole. Let's get started. But before we get started, I just want to let y'all know to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe this video and this channel. And make sure you check out my Spotify, Imani Verses. I have a lot of playlists on there. And check out my music blog, blog. And these little cat ears I got from Harriana Hooks Collection. She's a YouTuber that talks about family and children's entertainments and all the issues with them. And she's quite hilarious and I enjoy myself. So you guys should check her out and then check out her merchandise. They're super cute. Also, y'all like my wig. For those of you that live under a rock with Patrick and Plankton and all of them, and that don't know who J. Cole is, he is a rapper, songwriter, producer, and basketball player from Fayetteville, North Carolina. He has most recently dropped an album called The Off Season, which dropped on May 14th of 2021, you know. Um, the album has a total of 12 songs, which makes it about like 40 to 50 minutes long. And I like that because I'm tired of these long ass albums. You know me, y'all faves don't have the range to be having a 22 song album. No 15, 17, keep it between 14 and 12. 14 is pushing it, but keep it between 14 and 12, okay? And that's what J. Cole did. So he already got a check mark. You already got a check mark, okay? There are producers on this album, like Timbaland, DJ DeHigh, T Minus, and of course, J. Cole himself. He produces a lot. Um, His productions, he also has features on his albums from Boz, Little Baby, Black Slap, Nick Nack, Patty Whack, Cameron, Little John, James Fontelleroy, and of course, Puff Daddy. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. So, what's so special about this album? You know, you're probably just wondering, why does this album get so much hype? Why do we even like J. Cole? He said he don't read. Like, what is so special? And you came to the right place. I am Imani P, your friendly neighborhood uh, music guru. I will tell you why this album is very special. It has been about like three, four years since Cole has dropped an album and he has become one of the most notably known, like best lyricists of our like generation of rap right now. It's like people are missing him. People are wondering where Cole is. People are wondering what Cole is doing. This album is basically telling us what Cole has been doing and what he's going to do and how he's going to depart from the rap world, just the rap career in general referencing the documentary he had and y'all can watch it it's like a 12 minute long documentary it's not long at all and it's not really boring either i will tell you if it was boring i will like, don't watch that i watched it for you like you don't need to watch it but you know you can go watch it if you want to 21 Savage is in it or no the end of the documentary j cole was just talking about you know the off season is just basically a part two to his mixtape from like years ago called the warm-up um and he just wants to remind his fans, his supporters, and just the people that are just, you know, bashing him because they say he said he don't read. Which he did that to himself. He should have never said that he don't read a book. That's his fault. Anyway, that he is very much talented. And he's very much skillful and how how much better he has gotten from that mixtape to warm up to now. This album is just highlighting the fact that he has done everything that he um, told himself that he was gonna do in the rap career. He he achieved all his goals that he had for himself. Um, he got a bunch of money. He got his own label. He got his own artist. He has a family now, and he's just kind of over it. He's like, okay, there's nothing else for me to accomplish here. Like y'all know, I'm good. You know, my money's good. I'm gonna go do basketball now. He's just basically doing what Michael Jordan did. But he was like, all right, I did bas I did basketball. I'm gonna go do golf. Is that what he did or baseball? I don't know. That's what basically what the off season is like coming with. That's what the energy, that's what the energy is. Um, before I talk about what I liked about the album, cause I think the album is very good. I think it's five out of five stars. I just want to talk about the promotion behind the album was 
super exquisite trash -y. like it is it was trash -y. like that promotion was trash because they didn't do a good job cleaning up the fact that j cole said he don't know how to read and knowing j cole he probably don't got no media manager anyway so that's all on him and then secondly before a week before he dropped the album he dropped the song interlude and nobody was hyped like yes the song was good but it didn't make you more excited for the j cole album you know what made people excited for the j cole album j cole freestyling on 93.2 beat on a radio station interview that he had i feel like if j cole had a media manager or like you know me um he could have went around to different radio stations or even just on IG Live like every night leading up to the album and just did some freestyles on some old beats because that's what people got excited about. They're like, oh, okay, I'm ready for J. Cole now. I'm ready to hear what he got about. Like, you know, that's what got people excited. Nobody got excited for Interlude. I'm so sorry. I wasn't excited. The others weren't excited. Unpopular opinion. I like when J. Cole was doing, um, was rapping on these trap beats when he was just trying to do different beats and just try different things. I liked it. I know people, he got a lot of pushback from it. I didn't, I liked it all. He sounded good as hell on that Moneybag song, on 21 Savage song, on that London Bridge song that is trash as hell. If you want to read about what I said about it, link in the description below, blog. Let's get into what I do like about the album and just like my favorite songs off the album. I was very surprised that he ended up having features on the album just because when he first dropped the track list, there weren't no features on it. So then I was gonna, I was just like, but you know, I listened to the album and then now there's, you know, there's features. So let me tell you the songs I do like. And surprisingly, I do like the song that he has a little baby. Pride is the devil, and I don't like Little Baby. I don't think he's talented. Like, I'm just not into him. And trust me, I've tried. Everybody I said I dislike, y'all, I've tried to listen to their music. It's just not hitting my spirit, you know, on some spiritual girl shit, you know what I mean? But I think Little Baby sounded really good on that song. I think J. Cole really tested him. He doesn't sound too mixed and produced and out auto tuning. He sounds quite normal with a tad bit of like production in his voice which is like his signature sound i understand but he didn't give me that annoying like same shit like it, it sounded really good so i actually do like that song little baby um i like the song my life with 21 savage i think 21 savage and j cole should have a little five pack ep together just to get the girls going i am girls i would like to get going you know whore I like the song Let Go of My Hand with Boz and Six Black, 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 Black. Like, I don't know his name. Tell me how to say it. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then I also like the song 100 Mil with Boz. I think Boz did such a great job on his album. And J. Cole and his chemistry always sounds good to me ever since I've heard him on a song like for the first time, him and Boz. They do a great job together. I wouldn't mind them dropping more like a, a little project together as well. He really shined. Like if J. Cole was like Beyonce, mm, no, we don't need to drag Beyonce into this. But that's it for my album review, y'all. Like there's not much to review sometimes when I do really like an album. I can't really find too many bad things about it. You guys gotta catch me. You guys gotta ask me to review like albums that like I vocally said I don't like because I will have more to say in things that could be changed about it. Yeah, everything was good. J. Cole did well. He reminded me that he's talented. He's still very skillful and he has gotten better. His features were good. The productions were good. It was a good solid album. He even sold like 300 something thousand copies in his first week, which is really, really weird to see during the streaming era because usually these artists be selling like 1,000, 2,500 copies. So that's how you know these J. Cole fans are real and they show out when he does drop music um yeah you know it was a good ass album i'm gonna still listen to it i wish it came out in the fall though but anyway thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and comment below some of your favorite songs from the j cole album and i will see y'all real soon because i's that girl peace out a town biatch